before we're going to cook yes we're going to cook from the knox county learning kitchen tiffany maranaka our guest along with sarah wolf they are the the driving force behind this uh first of all good morning ladies good morning well, okay so you guys know what you're into right well, we're go what's going to happen today you know what you're yeah. into. <laughs> Well, as we go along, we'll, we'll, I'll learn more, I'm sure. Yes. All right. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the kitchen, first of all. For those who are not familiar what you're all about, just go ahead and let's lay some, a foundation for them. Sure. So the Community Learning Kitchen is a project through the Knox County Public Library, funded by the Indiana Department of Health. And we also have an object called the Charlie Cart, which is our mobile kitchen. And our task is to go out into the community and the county at large and go to events and schools and our partnerships with food pantries and other organizations to educate and have a good time talking about food and nutrition and how, how to cook at home and remove a lot of those barriers that people have. Okay, all right. There's a lot of things we don't know, right? I mean, education-wise about food, you know, it tastes good, hey, it's good. But then we have to look, is it really good and how can we make it better? Is that the learning portion? Definitely. Yeah, oh. that is a huge part of what we are trying to teach. Okay, all right. So, um, and that means you go to different places, teach people how to learn. Mm -hmm. Today, you're teaching me. We are. <laughs> We're going to try. Maybe he'll teach us something. No, no. You'll, you'll teach, yeah, you'll say, uh, he needs to be in a drive-thru. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. You got this. Well, okay. And what, what's, what's interesting is we're going to do a, a a dish that you're going to be doing out at the rendezvous, mm -hmm. right? Yes. That's right. Okay. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to make oatmeal in your studio. Oatmeal yeah. in the studio. Right. And it sounds like a terrible uh, album title, Oatmeal in the Studio. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we're going to make some hoe cakes, which are a traditional kind of. Uh, object eaten <laughs> by George Washington uh, from that kind of era. So yeah. it's a kind of a breakfast. I think they ate it kind of all hours and they would have fried it up, you know, with bacon grease or lard or whatever they had. <laughs> yeah. um, it was just kind of basic sustenance, but we're, ours are going to be better <laughs> yes, than what better. they ate in the field. Yeah. Uh, so it's got, it's basically a cornmeal pancake. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Ho, H-O-E? H-O-E, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I want to send that on Facebook that I'm making a hoe cake. I don't know if that, <laughs> that would go over well. We're, we're making sides and we're saying. Yeah. So, you know, we're they, were, they were traditionally cooked on a hoe over the fire. They gotcha. Were, yes. oh, all right. Okay. That's the hoe we're referring to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just to be clear, okay. they are new tinsel. So you guys have been active about a year, is that right? Yeah. Maybe about? Yes, we just celebrated our year of the the grant and being on the community learning kitchen so yeah it's been really exciting we're excited for what's to come okay so let's uh you're going to be all over the place in the summer i know summer is a great time a lot of festivals yeah. uh farmer's market opens up uh this saturday that's right that's but right. tomorrow actually but mm -hmm. but you're going to be you're already going to the rendezvous right, right. so all right how did that how did you guys come up with going to the rendezvous? Because I think it's a great idea, but how did this come about? Well, I had done it last year with a different organization, and I, I wanted to do it again. And we thought, well, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a great place for the Community <laughs> Learning Kitchen. It also serves as a fundraiser for our, for our organization. Um, our grant covers lots of things, but it actually doesn't cover food. So a lot of the things that you'll see us out doing are actually fundraising to cover our food costs. We get a lot of help from our partners at the food pantries, we but we still need cold hard cash <laughs> to buy food because we all know that the price of food just keeps going up and up and up. So we fundraise to fund ourselves so we can do things like that. And the rendezvous is a really great place to fundraise. Yeah. So in addition yeah. to the oatmeal and the hoe cakes, we also have our farmer's lunch. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So we've been working hard. Sarah, more than me. <laughs> <laughs> baking and baking loaves of sourdough bread to serve with some apples and cheese. So just uh -huh. a basic... Sourdough bread sounds so good. Yeah. Oh, I, I got you in. I brought you in. <laughs> oh no. my god! Yeah, wow. Like sourdough. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to say our engineer Scott's in the studio with us as well. So Scott, I guess I will have to share with you. Oh, okay. It's, so it's still so, warm, so it's easy to tear. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, I love it. Our, no, <laughs> you know, and we're fortunate to live in Knox County where we do great produce too, and that has to make things a lot easier. Yes. And that's one of the great tools that we have here is that we've got all of those agricultural resources. Mm -hmm. Going to the farmer's market with a Charlie cart, it's so much fun. We, yeah. uh, you know, in restaurants and cooking shows, they'll call it a black box project where you just show up as a cook and you, you don't know what ingredients you're going to get. And that's one of the best parts about the farmer's market is when 
we show up, we don't know what we're going to get, and then we cook and sample it out for people to say, hey, look what you can do with the ingredients that are around you. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Oh, it's it's uh, it's exciting what you guys are doing. I think the more and more people understand about the uh, learning kitchen, the more they'll welcome you in. You know, it's it's um, you're not saying like you don't know how to cook. We're going to teach no. you how to cook. No, 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 no. That's not what you're about no, at all. No, we're trying to help. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> We've got the same problem as everybody else. What? Are we eating? Oh, for dinner? oh. Yes. <laughs> hey, is that is that the biggest question people face every night? I know it is my house. Yes. What's for dinner? And here's a great response: I don't care. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, but yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, and it's like, oh, okay, I gotta go to the store and get it then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, is it okay? I mean, that's that's a conversation. I mean, yeah. plan ahead. <laughs> Yeah, that, yep. you can do that, and it's, it's so challenging, too, for families if you've got kids at any kind of activity, mm -hmm. because it is hard, hard just to eat together as a family, let alone to eat something that somebody in that house has made that yes. is nourishing, affordable, yes. and fast. <laughs> okay. So true. Okay. We were just having this issue last night. I had two kids playing softball and baseball at the same time, at dinner time. I'd be two places. Oh, it was crazy. But. Okay. How well, let me ask you, what do teenagers eat these days? Oh, that's a very good question. Well, uh, we that's both a... have teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Mine has just, start, has just started to cook at home, which is yes. so great. It is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, there are um, advantages and disadvantages to this, but uh, no matter what, I want her to do it. So it doesn't matter how many how many times I come down to a completely <laughs> sticky floor and kitchen, it's okay. Um, but like last night or the night before, she made a, a fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, she made French macaroons the other night. They were delicious. <laughs> Um, I have I never know what she's going to do. So she she's very adventurous. It took a long time though. It's a long game mm -hmm. getting te getting teenagers and kids to eat or try new things. It is a long game. It is. Yeah. I'd say best invention. Yeah. Air fryer. Same. Yes. Uh, I, just, uh, I mean that's just, I mean I love the grill and I love the microwave, but air fryer. Oh my. Yeah. What a great great invention. It's so, so it handy. Is. It's fast. Mm -hmm. And it's it's healthy. I yeah, mean I mean it's a great alternative. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you don't say like, oh, no, that's not old-fashioned. No, no, no. We're not about, that's what, we're not always about old-fashioned, no, you know. No. But, yeah, I wouldn't know what teenagers <laughs> eat these days. I have no clue. Uh, well, unfortunately, she's very busy in the evening, so she tends to eat out sometimes. Yeah. And she tells me, oh, I feel so bloated, and you know, <laughs> I need to eat more, at, I cook more at home. And yeah. tell her, yeah, you can. Yeah. But she, yeah. she is really good. At, she has some base staple. Like, she loves to make avocado toast, and she mm -hmm. loves, she makes a really great smoothie. Mm -hmm. She can make herself eggs, and, oh. you know, she can, she can, she can cook. Oh, I well, could. <laughs> okay. Real day. Yeah. 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 Yes, but, but, you know, but you don't want her friends to know that right? right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, her friends. Sorry. <laughs> but I love them. I, I know. Try to them good food there. I, 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 I know. But, but teaching kids and yeah. teaching adults, mm -hmm. yes. teaching seniors, yeah. we're never too old to learn this. Especially with yeah. food. I mean, it's we all got to do it. We all got to eat. It's true. We all have to figure it, solve that same problem mm -hmm. every day. And you know, something just as simple as oatmeal. You know, so many people have only had the instant packet oatmeal, and you know, it's. It's good. It's you know it's the kind of thing that you eat and you're like well it's the right temperature, yep. <laughs> I, but it's not something that people necessarily. Get well, from. when we had Tiffany on last month, I said I know how to do oatmeal. You just peel that little that, thing and pour it oh, in the water, oh, yeah. stir it up, and yeah. put it in the microwave. That's, that's and, one option. That's, that is an option. Yeah, yeah. But, but but we're not doing that today. It, it takes what two minutes longer than the yeah, instant it stuff. Really it, doesn't it really take it doesn't much. take that much longer. <laughs> tastes so much better. <laughs> uh, obviously, you don't know what you're working with here. You know? <laughs> let's let's be honest. You, anybody can learn to make oatmeal. It's oh, like boiling water. Okay. Yeah. The okay. skill you need. <laughs> now, now, the plan was when we were going to do this that I was going to let you guys just kind of do your thing. I mean, you know what you're doing, but it is learning kitchen, okay? Yep. And I guess I was. I thought I was just slicing strawberries today. I thought that was my my goal. I could do it right over here. It was you talk, I, but I got to go over to the other side. Yeah, hey, it's the old chicken, little red hen story. Right? Oh yeah, you yeah. gotta help out if you want any. Yeah. Oh, Food. oh so, okay. <laughs> you gotta get it. <laughs> All right. I get your hands dirty. Yeah. Oh, I got gloves. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a break. We come back. We're gonna start cooking. It is. The morning chat here on WAOV. Okay. That's for 
shop before you shop to maximize your savings and make every dollar go further. Check out the TOC Big Deal store. You'll find gift cards and gift certificates to area businesses at discounted prices from 20 to 50% off. Save money when you go out to eat, go golfing, buy shoes, shop for jewelry, and more. From goods and services to events and entertainment. Search by city, search by category, or check out our clearance category for even more savings. Open 24-7, go to TOCBigDeals.com. That's TOC Big Deals. Welcome back to the morning chat here on WAOV. 
Sarah and Tiffany have coaxed me in coming over here. And we're gonna do a little cooking now. Yeah. All right, all right, let's uh, let's talk, ladies. We're making okay. what again? We're making oatmeal. Just oh. basic, plain oatmeal. Oh, here it is. We don't need it. There it is. It. You need it's already done. You yeah. need water. Oh, okay. And you need oatmeal. Okay. And maybe a pinch of salt. Okay, so. now, all right, water's boiling. Yes, we, you want it to get to a rolling boil. Okay, what's a rolling boil? So Remember, I'm, can, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, yes, I'm yes, learning, you're I'm learning. Honest, right, we're, as if you've never cooked this before. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so do you see the bubbles? Like, it looks like a bubble bath or something, a bubble like bath. a jacuzzi tub. Yeah, there, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. And then, do you want to just add like a little pinch of salt in there? Maybe a little. Maybe, maybe two. Like two a pinches. generous. <laughs> There yeah, you go. that's fine. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. Just a little bit of salt. Okay. And then we're going to add this oatmeal. So I just want you to add this oatmeal until you start to see dry flakes on the top. And what kind of oats did you bring? Just rolled oats. So there are two different kinds. There's quick cooking oats, and then there's rolled oats. And I think we both prefer <laughs> rolled oats. Absolutely. They're much okay, better for so how you. much? All right, so see how there's not any dry flakes on the top yet? Uh -huh. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. Well, maybe one more scoop. <laughs> I'm slow, one but I'm steady. All right. So All right. See how the, you can see that kind of hill of dry flakes. So that's that's a good indication that you have enough oats. And it's really just you can have. You can't really have too many. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we want to turn this all the way down. Uh -huh. Maybe even take it off a little bit because this is a very powerful. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to it, put it on low. That's all you do. And then just maybe gently put the lid on there and leave it. Okay. Yeah. All and right. Meanwhile, we'll prepare our toppings. Okay. Because that's the best part about oatmeal, right? Right. <laughs> it's the toppings. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you have any preferred toppings for your oatmeal? Uh, okay. Well, let's okay. see you brought... Strawberry, so let's do strawberries. Okay, do you like strawberries? I love strawberries. Okay, all right. I'll let Sarah teach you the proper way to cut strawberries. Okay, she, so we'll oh, okay. she is the expert. Oh, okay. okay. I get the knife? I get the knife? Um, I'm going to take the knife. Oh, and I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you, you are you right handed? Yes. Okay, so knife in your right hand, obviously. You want to form your left hand into a bit of a, like a claw. You're going to keep. Those, the tips of your fingers out of the way. Uh -huh. And if you're cutting big things with a bigger knife, you do things like this, and you're gonna keep your fingers attached to your hand, which is the goal. Okay. Um, but you always wanna keep that hand kind of curled back, and you're just gonna slice off the top, just like that. Uh -huh. Chuck your stuff out of the way. And again, curl those fingertips back and just give it a nice little slice like that. And you can see as I move across the fruit that I move my hand, my left hand, back like that. Yes. Okay. All right. Cut right. off the top and then flip it upside down so that flat side. Okay. The so it's yeah. the claw. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. turn it around so you're cutting the top off. There you go. Okay. First. All right. And then this the this slice. Slice. Yes. And then you always what you want right, to right, do. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. You want to be a friend to yourself. You want to make things easier. Uh huh. So always work on the flat side. So that it has like so that it's good easier base. That's yeah. Okay. Now cut like this. Yep. Okay. Here you go. I got my claw. Yeah. yeah. And then however you want, if you want to slice, slice or dice. Slice. What's the difference between sliced and diced, Sarah? Well, slices are you're going to have those thinner sheets, and then dice is generally a cube, like a cube. Yes. Okay, so we're we're getting there. Yep. You're doing good. Yes. Okay. You slice now, that off. Go okay. be a friend of yourself. Make it easy. There you go. Mm-hmm. And we'll just. Hey, yeah. There you go. You yeah. can put it down again. Some people like things cut up very small, so they get a little bit of everything in every bite. Yes. Some people are mixers. They put everything on top of their oatmeal. They mix it all up, so they get everything in one bite. I don't like that. <laughs> I never mix my stuff up. No. I married I married a mixer. Oh. I was amazed. That's I, could, so funny. I, I did too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. So mixer, so like, like if it's rice and stuff, yeah, it's, you would it's mix all my mixed. salad and stuff. All, like, oh. No, I, I like it all. I want it all separate. You know, Hello, I'm over here. Right, right. What about you? Do you like, are you a mixer? Do you like all your food just mixed together? Or do you like to have it kind of like separated? Either way. Either way. <laughs> I'm, I'm easy. Let's check out our oatmeal here. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Little okay. And really, I mean. Do I slice all these? Sure. Yeah, I'll slice them all up. And this oatmeal really doesn't take long. Once you add the oatmeal, it takes maybe five minutes or so to cook. Five okay. minutes. And we are making again what? Oh, yeah. I know, but I mean, oh. what, what, what's the dish that we are going to be? Oh, the hoe cakes? Uh, is that what we're doing yeah, right now? Yeah. No, we're making the oatmeal now, and then we're going to cook the, the hoe yeah. cakes. Yeah. 
Yes, okay. so we're okay. just making toppings for the oatmeal, and we, we can also use these toppings for the hoe cakes, too, because okay. they're like a pancake. Okay. A quarter pancake. Yeah. All right. We're doing excellent. Now, I'm do you not... want those strawberries that big, or do you want to make them a little bit we'll smaller? We'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Banana to slice up too? Yes, I figured, you know, banana could be pretty easy to slice up. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> There's some prep bowls right there if you want to put your prep mm -hmm. berries into the bowl. That way you've got a nice clear workspace mm -hmm. and you're not working on top of yourself too much. Yep. Okay. Right so, there, that metal bowl. That right metal bowl to right left. to your left. Oh, okay. This the empty one. The empty one? Yeah, go ahead and put your berries in there. Berry? Oh, berries or? Mm -hmm. Put, put your strawberries, strawberries in the bowl. Oh, strawberries. You have berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's berries everywhere. There yeah. were two different berries. Yeah. I brought some blackberries. Uh, but those are nice because you don't have to cut those. So if you don't really like to cut, there are fruits that you don't have to cut. Okay. <laughs> blueberries are a great example. Blueberries, okay. raspberries, okay. blackberries. So, yeah. I'm still slicing strawberries, folks. Yes. I'm, I'm very slow. He's doing great. This is, only, this is an hour program. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sell in. Okay. Uh, Scott, <laughs> let me know when we get to 12 minutes. So I can take a break. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Okay, now you're gonna slice the banana. Oh, the banana! Black, the blackberries yes. are just fine. They don't need to be cut. Okay. All right. Now. Good. See, you already knew how to open them. Do you like bananas? I do, but I don't eat them. Oh, really? Because of medication. I think. Oh, I think yeah. it's potassium. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, but yeah, I love bananas. Okay. Just. Yeah. So just, you just help them. Just. Yeah, slice them up however you like them. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some brown sugar here. I also brought some brown cinnamon uh -huh. and peanut butter and mm -hmm. honey. Yum. These are just different other alternatives that you can put on your oatmeal. So okay. so many options. Okay, so. So our oats are starting to release some of those yummy uh, starches. And that's kind of what makes it creamy and delicious. Mm -hmm. Say we're a little over halfway. What do you think, Ted? Yeah, that's good. That's good. I want to go talk about the mixers versus the non-mixers okay. for a second. So okay. it, took, it took me a couple years to figure this out, but one of the reasons why I don't like to mix my food up together is because then every bite is the same. Uh -huh. And I don't like that. I want, I want different bites, different textures and contrasts in every bite. And sometimes maybe there's an ingredient that I want to control how much I eat with yeah. other things. Like it's, or save till the end. Or save till the end because it's my favorite, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, my sister is also a mixer, and I've watched that change over time. Yeah, I don't think she's aware of it. I'll have to talk to her about it. Yeah, so yeah. now everybody's going to be like watching everybody. Yeah, who's a mixer and who's not. A mixer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm about done with the bananas. Excellent. Oh, very Nicely good. done. Okay. Nicely done. All right, now what are we going? Uh, uh, Here's this. Do you want to wipe your hands off? Yeah. But, uh, I'll take your trash. Oh. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, wait a minute. We got another banana. That's oh, that's okay. okay. We'll yeah. save that for the whole case. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. I'll take but. that little banana butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't think she was talking about me. Yeah. All right. Okay, we got those two things and okay. berries. Uh, what's next? What is next? I'll take that. Okay. All right, great. Yes. We are still waiting on this oatmeal, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's hurry it along a little bit. We are starting to get there. I think oatmeal cooked on the stove tastes way better than microwave oatmeal. Even if you use like this this ingredient, these, these thick rolled oats, uh -huh. um, I think they taste way way better on the stove than in the microwave. Okay. Okay. I don't know what why that is, okay. but um, I think they are far more delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna switch spots with you. Oh, okay. okay. And another benefit of cooking your oatmeal on the stove is you can control how much you make at a time. So, I like to cook quite a large batch of oatmeal. I have. Five kiddos, four kiddos. <laughs> it seems like I always have kids and their friends at my house, so it seems like a, a household. But um, that way I can make plenty at once for everybody. And then I can also store my leftovers in the fridge and have them ready to go to warm up mm -hmm. for another okay. day of the week. Okay. You so ready to try some of this? Okay, sure. Let's do this. Okay. Do you ever do the overnight oats? I've never done them. Yes. Yeah, those they're are really good. Yeah, they're really yeah. tasty. They are really tasty. How do you set those up? Okay. So those are really easy. You don't have to cook anything. You just put oats uh -huh. and whatever milk you want. You can use a nut milk mm -hmm. or just a regular dairy milk. Um, you can put flavors like chocolate chips, yeah. brown sugar, whatever you want. And then you just leave it overnight and the oats soak in the moisture. And okay. in the morning, they're ready to go. That, so that's all we did. We just did oatmeal. Yep. Yeah. So and, now, and this is for the next... No, you can add your toppings. So oh, your toppings. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Um. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
There's brown sugar here. If you like peanut Absolute butter, do you like cinnamon? Um, brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Good. And also, um, Scott, did you want some? Oatmeal is pretty low glycemic. Okay. Yes, because yeah. it's a whole grain. So we gotta make sure we feed Scott absolutely. too. He's oh, working yes, hard. Absolutely, Scott. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna have a strawberry. I'm gonna have a strawberry. Yeah. Go ahead. You can use that spoon. Okay. All right. And then try some strawberries. Okay. This is oatmeal. This is oatmeal. All right. Or if we were back in the olden days, porridge. Porridge. <laughs> is that what they call? Okay. In it, so. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm gonna have a bite. You can have a bite. Yeah. Okay. I Dance. Just a dance. Mm -hmm. Do I need brown sugar or anything on it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. What's that? Okay. Well, I'm going to finish this off. We're going to take a break. We come back. Hey, we're ready to go. Hoe cakes? Yeah, All right. Yeah, All right. The hoe cakes going. Great. All right. You're listening and watching the morning chat here on WAOP.
Can you actually share my, her mic, or do you have to be over here? Why? Well, okay. So, because you're gonna be mixing. Okay. Right. All right. No, okay. Do it. Where's my? Or you can just be on. No, where's my? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure my one's over. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. Here we go. Back on the morning chat here on WAOV. Tiffany, Sarah, with us from the Knox County Learning Kitchen. I've learned how to make oatmeal. <laughs> I'm rolling. Okay. One person. Oh, well, hi. <laughs> your your assignment is done. Okay. Yay. No. No. Yes, we're just one starting. Person, one person at a time. Okay. <laughs> what, what are we working on now? This is a demo of the hoe cakes that we are making for the rendezvous. A hoe cake is a southern cornmeal pancake. You can eat it any time of day. It's great for breakfast. Mm -hmm. We are going to mix up our wet ingredients that we've pre-mixed and mix those with the dry ingredients, which are in a separate container. This is great if you want to make breakfast in the morning, but you don't want to do all of that measurement uh -huh. scooping. So you prep up your dry ingredients the night before. You can even mix your wet stuff, stick it in the fridge in the morning, combine the two, and you've got pancakes or hoe cakes for in the morning. So yep. in our wet bowl, we've got buttermilk and mm -hmm. a little bit of water, two eggs, and some melted butter. Uh -huh. And the dry ingredients over here, we've got flour, cornmeal, baking powder, mm -hmm. and salt and a little bit of sugar, I believe. So okay, okay. You're going to pour the dry into the wet. There you go. Where's this going to go? Right in right, that bowl. Right the whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. Oh. Yeah, it's already pre-measured. Okay. And okay. I'll send you the recipe so that you can share it on your social media page. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Give it a stir. Oh, oh. Now, the important thing is not to over stir, especially when you're making pancakes or waffles oh, or yeah. things like this. So just until all the ingredients are incorporated nicely, uh, then we'll be ready to cook. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you want to make sure you get that scraping action so you get all of that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. There Be you go. Get, come on. Be there aggressive. you go. You got it. There you go. You got all that stuff. Oh, there, you there you go. There you go. Now, now Tiffany says, "Be careful." Yeah. And you say, "Sorry, you like beat it." So yes. No. Them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I just meant don't over me. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't want to stand there for ten minutes. Yeah. Basically. You're, oh. you're oh. going to activate the gluten, and we want our gluten relaxed. We yes. don't want our gluten all tight. Oh, that's so right. Everybody needs a relaxed gluten. We're talking about gluten in the flour. Not our glutes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was mixed. So I was confused. Mixed messages. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it kind of looks like a corn okay. bread batter. Right. Right okay. Here. So we're going to drop a little butter in our skillet here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want your skillet nice and hot? You want to hear it? Yeah. yeah. We are fortunate that we are cooking on a skillet and not a hoe. Okay. The garden yes. utensil. Garden utensil. Okay. Yes. All right. So this looks like it's pretty thick. Oh, yeah, good. That's Make sure there are any dry pockets in there. What's dry pockets? A dry pocket would be an unmixed blob of flour or cornmeal. There's a bit of egg right there. It looks like oh. it needs a little attention. So there you go. You're okay. Doing, you're doing okay. You're doing a great job. Uh, yeah. Thank you. All you right. got this. Okay. All right. Now you're just going to you're gonna throw a blob in there. And just throw it? Just throw a blob in there like you're making pancakes. Yep. Okay. There you go. In there. There. There you go. Good. Okay. Yep. Just kind of. Now we're just going flatten to it out a flatten bit. it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. These are really good if you drop a little bit of fruit in there, like blueberries or strawberries are delicious mm -hmm. inside okay. of that. Okay. Would be good. Yeah. Now it, size doesn't matter. You can you can make big. them small. Yeah. yeah. Whatever okay. Size you want. Okay. All I right. was reading you somewhere. Do you do one at a time, or do you do two? Or oh, you can do more. Yeah. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. What the Absolutely. Hey, I'm feeling confident. There you go. Do it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what you want. Confidence in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> That's our goal. Well, thank goodness Tiffany's over here putting it together. <laughs> no, I got the easy good. part. So what did you say? You said you were reading an article or something? Yes, I was trying to do a little bit of research on yeah. the hoe cake where yeah. it originated from, and it was very basic, like cornmeal, water, and salt, and yeah. it's basically like where cornbread started or originated mm -hmm. from. Right. So if you like cornbread, think hoe cakes. Yes. Okay, so okay. We wouldn't have cornbread without okay. hoe cakes. Now, we do want to explain <laughs> something I think is, it's really important. The meals we're cooking today, they're healthy meals. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. this is not part of the language junk. Mm -hmm. nope. no, I mean, no. this is this is good healthy food. It's healthy because we're using whole food ingredients. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, all right. And that's a very important okay. vocabulary word with nutritional cooking 
is whole foods. So these are foods that have been very minimally processed or unprocessed at all. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just the best way to eat food okay. in their, as close to their natural okay. state as possible. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Those things are pretty big. Yeah, I okay. think that's good. Okay, now, now do you, how long do they cook before you turn them? Yes. <laughs> so, yes. I never answer that question for a couple of reasons. Number one, everybody's stove is different. Everybody's cooking equipment is different. If you were cooking this on a gas stove in a thin aluminum pan, uh -huh. it would take a different amount of time than okay. this. We're on a cast iron skillet on an induction burner. Okay. So you know what? This is what you do. This is part of learning how to cook is that you don't rely on a recipe saying, cook for two and a half minutes because you know what? That recipe doesn't know anything about how you cook and it doesn't know anything about your equipment. That's so very true. That's a frustration with a lot of junior cooks where they're like, well, I baked it for 20 minutes and it was raw. Well, did you look at the thing you were cooking? Because <laughs> okay. that's what's going to tell you what you need to know. Okay. Yes. Right. What you need to do is ask the hoe cake. Hoe cake, are you ready to be flipped? You're not. Okay. A good indicator when you're cooking like a pancake is that you want to wash the surface when you start to see bubbles on the, the top here. Mm -hmm. That tells you that the heat is starting to work through what you're cooking and that it could be time to flip. Mm -hmm. Got a little smoke coming around over here and you can see like on the edges we're starting to get some nice browning. So you don't want to crowd your pan too much because you want to be able to work. Okay. Is the, is the objective the way I have to flip it once? Yes, don't yes. flip it more than once. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think people make that mistake like me. I'm a flipper. I'm yeah. yeah. a flipper. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fluffiness and your volume. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want to flip too much. You don't okay. want to mess with things too much. It's it's a hard urge to resist. Okay. If it you're is. cooking on your own conventional home stove. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What what would you say about seven, eight on the dial of sure. ten? I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. medium. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. But man, if you got a skill like this, though, yeah, this is some heavy artillery. It is. Oh, yeah. It's a good investment to have. Yeah, it's a good cast iron skillet. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, so we've got uh, some nice golden brownness happening here. Oh, outside. Look at that. And and these are hoe cakes. cakes. These are hoe cakes. Hoe cakes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So also known as Johnny cakes, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, I cakes. okay. Yeah. If you've heard of that term, I've heard of that. Term. Yeah. Okay. Hoe cake is more of what? Traditional. <laughs> uh, it's shorter, the short. shorter sign to make. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's what we came up with. Hey, it's, it's, it's a, all on one side. It's, it's, a, a, it's a holiday weekend, but our holiday weekend yeah. is. It's historical, so we're doing yes, yes. the historical. Is, that's right. Yes. Uh, well, that's the other. That's the other fun part about the rendezvous is that um, you know trying to find food that we can make um, with our kind of spin on it. But the sourdough bread is a great example of that. That's mm -hmm. the kind of bread that folks ate back then. They didn't have commercial yeast. They had wild yeast. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you have to cultivate and take care of that starter, so yeah. that you can do those kind of things. So we have for those on radio. We have four of them in there right now. Yeah. And. Um, we just flipped one, and then we got three more, and they're gonna take a little time, I think. But um, and then once these are done, they're done. Yeah, they're, they're, ready, they're, they're ready done. To go. Then we can add. Oh, that's a little. Yeah. Try this one. I think that's one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can just add whatever toppings you want, similar to a pancake. There you go. You can add mm -hmm. maple. I have some maple syrup. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually gonna make some whipped cream. Okay. Yes. Yes. What do you like on your pancakes? Oh, whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> Good I, cream and berries, that's yeah. my, my go-to. Ladies, there's, only, there's two things you put on a pancake. What? Peanut butter and syrup. Yeah, that's what my daughter has. Yeah, my husband, that's, those are yeah, That's it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I that's, have both of those. Yeah, <laughs> that's, no, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Um, also, I love to squeeze like fresh lemon on there. With some oh, okay. Sugar. All right. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good yeah. kind of healthy alternative mm -hmm. to syrup. Yeah. yeah. Um, Trust me, these look great. They, they look like this. Guy uh, I think we're getting there. Yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and give her a flip. Okay, now am I going to flip the last one? Is that sure. a flip yeah. one yet? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. Look at you. All right, no, Let's see. no, 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 no. Okay, see. you got it. See? see? Yes, go for it. That's great. All right. And no, we got one. We got it. We got it. All right. So now we just let them go. That, so like, yep. that was the hardest part, right? Okay, there. right. Now, you'll know they're down because just the texture, you can see it. Yeah. Um, Sarah's made these Thanks. more than, yeah. Kind of, kind of push down yeah, on it. If it kind of springs up like that, uh -huh. okay. that means that it's been. I'll just check the bottom again, and you know what? I think we're looking pretty good. I, th good. I think we got enough here for eight today, yeah. did you say? Yeah. Do you want to, are we done with this one? Yep. Okay, so you can go ahead and grab that one and put it on our plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throw Very a little good. more butter in there. We're getting a little dry. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, in there, yeah. Yeah. More butter. Okay, all right. Yeah. Not and margarine. Yeah. Butter. butter. <laughs> and, and, and nothing against the the spray. I mean, I know. A you lot can of do, You can use that. That's 
I, I mean, I do use that once in a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Oh, and we were talking about how sourdough is made with a natural yeast that you have to cultivate and mm-hmm. take care of. And Sarah has dried out some yeast part mm-hmm. of sheets mm-hmm. that we'll, we'll have at the rendezvous as okay, well that okay. you can actually, um, what's it called? The dry sourdough starter. You can rehydrate. Rehydrate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've dehydrated a bunch of the, the starter um, and then you can take it home and hydrate it and have your own sourdough yeah. starter. Okay. Grow your own yeast at home. Okay. So. We're going to take a break. Okay. We'll be back after this on the morning chat on WAOV. Awesome.
back on the morning chat here on WAOV. Tiffany and Sarah here, and uh, well, we've made hoe cakes. Yes. We made oatmeal this morning. Now we're Here's going. Okay. okay, now we're going to do whipped cream. We are. I, we won't have this unfortunately at the rendezvous tomorrow, but I, we love homemade whipped cream, and we've done this quite a few times at some of our demos where okay. we have them help us make homemade whipped cream. If you've never made it at home, it's very simple. All you need is whipping cream, some powdered sugar, or even granulated sugar, uh -huh. and some vanilla. Okay. And that's it. And you can control how much sugar is in it. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish mixing that up. You do have to whisk it pretty vigorously mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, you can cheat and use a hand blender. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to incorporate being active while you cook. Well, yeah. and to me, this is like a dishwasher. Why have a dishwasher when well, you can do it by hand, right? <laughs> no, I, no, I, I, we, no. we like to do dishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Because we have no Okay. All right. So I'll make you do this. Yes. All right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll finish up. We'll add the same toppings that you had for our oatmeal, and we'll use those for our oatmeal. And then we'll okay, now, they, they, they come with icing then? Is that it? Or No, or? it's like a pancake. Like okay. a pancake, so oh. we'll have maple syrup, and we'll have some strawberries and berries, and then some pecans. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So, yeah. Okay. The homemade whipped cream, it's a fun kind of party thing. You can pass the bowl around everybody. <laughs> everybody helps whip the cream and pass it around. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a fun thing we've done at a couple of our events. Yep. It's really fun. Get tired, you just pass it around. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wait until you're tired. Oh, and we have butter too that you yes. can put on there. Good butter. Now, ladies, keep in mind I've been up since 3 a.m. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tired all the way. That's fine. No, no. Okay, no, got it. No. Okay, he's no. not giving up. I'm not giving up. All right, you oh, got it. want to thank. Tiffany and Sarah for the uh, apron this morning. They obviously thought that I would probably spill stuff. They must know me well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always spilling stuff on myself. So I'm too yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're doing great. <laughs> Can you hear the whipping? Right? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. All right, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Switch hands if you need to. So if you really get ambitious, you can make your own homemade butter. That's right. With just whipping yep. cream. Yeah. That's one of the dangers of making. No churn or anything? If you, if no. you do it in a mixer, it's uh -huh. easy to make homemade butter on accident because you'll over whip the cream. Yes. And you'll separate the fat solids and you'll end up with butter. Yeah. Or you can just put it in a jar with a lid and you shake it. Just shake it. Yep. A little bit of salt until it okay. actually clumps up into. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to I'm take advantage of the plus 20 claws. Which means I'm 20 years older than you, so you do right. that. Oh, okay. Here, I'll take a seat. Sarah's really strong and really good at this. It's oh, like water. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like having a kitchen egg. Right oh, now. my goodness. <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed. Good job. Well, it helps if you have someone scream at you in French. That's, oh. It's a huge motivator. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Again, uh, the uh, morning kitchen will have this all out at the rendezvous yes. on, on Saturday and Sunday, selling and both. And now the money that you pay from all this just goes to just keep the program going, right? It allows us to buy food to continue to do uh, demos in the community because our grant does not cover the cost of food. Okay. So you kind of need to teach people how to make food. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> no. So it supplements that for us, which we really, really need. Okay. Now, this is something I gotta ask you. Yes. If you do this and the first time it doesn't work, don't give up. Try it again. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Get up. Go. Okay. Some good peaks here. Yes. I think we're ready. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready to try this? Sure. Okay. So go ahead and put whatever you want on top. You want some whipped cream? Uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? A little bit of whipped cream. Okay. Do we have a spoon? Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's so good. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. What about you, Scott? What do you want on your thing? Hey, hey, we're whipped cream kind of people. Yeah. Oh yes. my gosh, look at that. Oh, and the whipped cream's like, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, this is warm. Like, oh, wow. Oh, delicious. delicious. <laughs> wow. Here, I'll take that. All right. Okay, now, now comes the moment of. Do you want a little syrup or fruit in there? Yeah, what else would you like? Just uh, mm -hmm. some bananas? Yes. You want a banana? Yeah. Do you want any syrup or anything? Um, 
Oh my. Yeah, Sarah's gonna make it so good. It may be a little dry. <laughs> that's really good. Look at that, that's super cute. Look at that. That is so good. Scott has whipped cream, bananas, and syrup in this. Oh, yes. That's what you call a hoe kick. That's a hoe kick. Be good. Yeah. Just have those hoe kicks, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so you liked it? Yes, it's it good. did. It's great. It's good? You, you know, good. I mean, there's a new pudding topping on here. It would be great. Oh, yeah. And it, it, oh, you do have the peanut butter. You oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I should have done that. Yes, yeah. yeah. we'll leave some for you. Okay. The, uh, I got them later. <laughs> the, the cake, I mean, as time goes on, is it? Something that you need to eat here in the next hour or so, or do you, yeah. can you wrap it and save it? Or? I mean, if you were a soldier in the Revolutionary War, you would have just stuck it in your backpack okay. and okay. drove it all down the hill. All right. okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can, you can make them ahead of time. You can freeze them, okay. you know, pull them out and have them for breakfast. Or, you know, people serve these alongside dinner as well. They don't have to be exclusively for breakfast. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, you good. Just eat it like a cornbread. You can put yeah. some butter and honey on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beans. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. If you missed the first segment or two, we did oatmeal. What was the key to the oatmeal? Um, just you know, make sure uh, it's really easy. <laughs> it's, just, it's just easy. Oatmeal <laughs> access. You know, just yeah. just to give it a shot. Cook it. Don't be afraid. Just go yeah. for it. Just go for it. Just yeah. eat water. Yeah. Okay. We didn't put milk in it though, did we? No, I didn't. No, okay. you can't. it's just water. Okay. Yeah. Some people do put milk in it. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It's easier to scald it if it has milk in it if you're cooking it on the stove. So, but so, that's something I would add at the end. So, what's your setup going to be like at the Robin? What's our setup? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you going to use? We have a cook fire. We okay. Have a cook okay. Fire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go set that up today. Oh, yeah. All right. Set that up today. Yeah. Yeah. Cook you over excited? The yeah. I know. I did yeah. last year. I had a great time. I did not have a cook fire, so that's a new uh, added wrinkle to things. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I think it'll be great. And. Um, is a sample of our set of bread for you. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 Right now, I don't want to drop it. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to do that? Um, to make one loaf. To make one loaf. I mean, it's, it's three days, but it's not it's not a lot of busy time. It's you, know, you feed the starter, and then the next day you make the levain, which is kind of like the pre-starter for your bread, and then you make the dough that day. I do an overnight cold fermentation, so that's why it, it covers that three days, and then I bake the next morning. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side of the mic. So yeah. Yeah. You guys okay. have more of the mic here. And, uh, Ask a few more questions okay. before we wrap it up. Well, as far as uh, if people want to come and, and see what you're doing, uh -huh. okay, I mean, or want you to come to an event or has any questions, how do they get a hold of you? They can do it through our Facebook page. They can reach us through the library and ask about the community learning kitchen there. And coming hopefully soon this summer, we will have our own website through the library for the community learning kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you guys want to see this go? I mean, next year. Oh I mean, goodness. I mean, obviously, obviously. So many things we yeah. Scott and I've been here many years, and we've never had anybody cook in these studios before. Nice. Okay, so so we broke ground today, right, Scott? Oh All right. Uh, obviously, yeah. But what would you what would you like to go? I mean, is this stuff that just anywhere? Nothing is out of your realm. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, we are very big growth-minded thinkers, and so we really want to just go for it, go wherever this will take us. We really want to focus on the young generation here, um, get into the schools, maybe get to a point where they're growing and cooking mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. at the schools. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be really or, uh, cooking classes for the community so that they can just have a place to come and experiment and mess up and you know, <laughs> try again and, yeah. so, and have people there to mentor them through that process. Um, like, like she said before, just break down all those barriers that are keeping people from doing what they know they should be doing anyway, which is cooking more healthy whole foods at home, because that really is the key to longevity, quality of life, um, everything. Really. Yeah, yeah. Energy, mental health, it mm -hmm. really can help all of those things. Yes, absolutely. And you know, have and have a good time doing it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to. It doesn't necessarily have to be a chore. It doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. Uh, we're just helping people kind of move through that process. And you know, I mean, I, I think one of our, our big goals and dreams is you know, just talking with uh, one of the school food ladies. She's like, you know, we serve beans to these kids three days a week and they can eat them. And we were both like, 
Well, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah, like, let's, how do you make beans fun? Well, we'll figure it out. We had a great time working with the schools over this past year. We went into all the elementary schools and did a demo of, of a cinnamon shake that had dried dates in it. Dates are very sweet, they're full of fiber, they are delicious, mm -hmm. especially when you uh, put it in with a bunch of yogurt and milk and cinnamon. And the kids loved it. It was they so did. much fun. Those kids had a blast mm -hmm. and um, just showing them how to do those very simple things. Yeah, yeah it's really a good time. Oh, wow. They had tried dates earlier in the year just by themselves and they did not have a good response. So yeah, yeah. we took on the challenge of how can we reintroduce this in yeah. a way that they Okay. All right. Now, I don't mean to take shots of canned goods, but okay. All right. But I mean, anytime you can get fresh, get it. I mean, health wise, trust me, it, I mean, it's, it makes a difference. Green beans out of a can, green beans out of the garden. There's a little bit of difference. Sure, but it's also, yeah. we want we just want you to cook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if frozen or canned works for you, mm -hmm. do that. If frozen or canned is what is available to you, use that. We just want you doing it and trying it and, and trying options because we're not, we're not asking people to just jump into a salad bar. That's right. not realistic, right? Especially where we live and how we live. We want people to just consider the idea of making a different option at home okay. or exploring those things. Okay, I got one question before we wrap it up. Uh -huh. There's always a talk about leftovers. Make enough for leftovers for the next night or so. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you're going to cook it, you might as well make leftovers. Sure. I mean, yeah. you, I mean that's isn't it? And, huh? No, oh, yeah. I know. I, I, I mean, that's the thing is, okay, we always said, well, we can save these next two for leftovers. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook it up for two you days. to cook more than you might mm -hmm. need because you Chicken the other night, and I made plenty of now. Mm -hmm. I can make tacos or enchiladas or quesadillas. Mm -hmm. That same meat all throughout the week. Yeah. Um, okay. Just make it a little different. Okay. Okay. So, what's the Facebook page? It's Knox County Community Learning Kitchen. Okay. And we're on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. So, that's all the places. <laughs> <laughs> and cooking in our studios. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so fun. Well, yeah. we appreciate you. I know it's a little different for radio. Yeah. I mean, trust me, uh, it's good. It's great stuff. And make sure you come out to the rendezvous, see these two ladies. Some are doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Uh, they'll be back at the end of June. We'll let people know when we're going to do another cooking session. Uh, I will be better. I will be more prepared. <laughs> no, I was told I was going to slice strawberries. I did slice strawberries. Okay, but I did others. So I, it's, it's all about learning. It is. Well, all right. All right. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Enjoy the rendezvous, all right? Thank you. We will. All righty.